Nestled on the banks of the river Lena, Altena is a pretty town, but one hit by hard times. Over the last 45 years, it's lost thousands of jobs to countries paying lower wages. Factories have closed, the population has halved. Now heavily in debt, it's one of the region's poorest towns. Even so, in the migration crisis, it's leading by example. While the rest of Europe agonizes over how many refugees it can take in, this small town is just getting the job done. After taking in its fair share, 350 refugees, it then said, come on, we can take in another 100. The town's mayor says the situation isn't easy, but we will manage. The mayor in question is Andreas Holstein, a member of Chancellor Merkel's Christian Democrats. A key way he's managing is by establishing links between the refugees and the labor market. His staff have set up a data bank listing their qualifications. While the new arrivals wait for their work permits, they're able to gain valuable work experience. Iraqi doctor Fahad al-Azawi is a case in point. He comes from Mosul, a city currently in the hands of the so-called Islamic State. Altena's authorities linked him up with the local hospital, where he's now benefiting from four weeks of on-the-job experience. The soft-spoken 26-year-old fled Mosul four months ago because he couldn't bear treating IS militants. The first of all, they are terrorists. So we can't heal terrorists, we can't treat terrorist people. This is a shame. And the, the other problem is that they have rook, they have crazy people, so we can't deal with the crazy people in, in yeah, it's a dangerous situation for a for, for person. Al Azawi is grateful for the safety he's found in Altena and for the kind of work experience that'll help him integrate. Plenty of locals are voicing their support too. It's a very humane gesture and I think it's going to enrich our town. If you can give shelter to refugees, I think it's right to do so. These people need help, and I believe taking them in will do us good. But not everyone shares those opinions. Last October, two men carried out an arson attack on this refugee shelter. Both have been arrested and no one was injured, thanks to some neighbors who raised the alarm. The other key part of Altena's strategy is to house refugees in individual apartments instead of large hostels. This makes it easier for al Azawi and his flatmates to interact with the locals. For Holstein, it's a question of humanity. I think it's not human uh, for Europe uh, to, to show a face uh, like we are doing now in, in, on the border uh, to Greece. Uh, I think this is not the Europe I have in my mind and it's not the Europe I will give to, to the next generation. It's a necessity to help uh, and to give uh, uh, humanity help to people who are uh, in need of this. Holstein's own grandmother was a refugee, and he now sees it as a moral duty to look after the refugees he and the rest of his town have taken under their wing.